Welcome back to Investor Intel from PDAC 2018. I'm pleased to be joined today by John Contact. John is both the president of West Red Lake Gold Mines and also a real industry expert and seasoned veteran of the mining space. You know, every year PDAC's different, John. Uh, you know, some years it's exciting, some years it's funereal. What are you seeing this year? A lot of expectations in the, if I could just stick, stick with the gold sector and not speak about the other minerals that are very topical here as well. But in the gold sector, you know, uh, gold peaked in terms of U.S. dollars at $1,900 an ounce in, uh, in the fall of 2011. And then it, you know, it, it got tough, you know, for an exploration and development companies, which is my side of the business. It's hard to raise money. It was hard to keep a drill turning. Uh, we fortunately were able to do that at our company. However, it was a, it was a tough time. And in 016 is kind of the first leg up when that kind of bear cycle ended. And we moved our company forward, West Red Lake Gold Mines. We raised almost $3 million in 2016. And, you know, and the price of gold moved. And, and in 017, it was kind of sideways, you know, uh, kind of feeding off a 2016 momentum. So the, the, the sense now, as we begin in 2018, is this maybe the year for the next leg up, you know, that began in 2016, sideways in 2017, and would like in 2018 to have a strong year and a, and a good leg up. And a lot of things are, are you know, given indications that that may be the case. Anything particularly seeing jurisdiction-wise where people want to be or don't want to be? I, I think Canada is a great place to be. Uh, for example, and uh, you know, mining executive, Canadian mining executives talk about this with projects in Canada, or maybe all their projects in Canada, that they like the price of gold right now at $1,300 about Canadian. They like it because of the exchange rate. With the Canadian dollar in the high 70s, the price of gold in Canadian dollar terms is very handsome. And when you compare it to their costs, which they pay their invoices in Canadian dollars, of course, for Canadian gold projects, they have a very handsome profit margin. We like that. And the exploration and development side, that means the Canadian gold producers are using up their assets every day and they're going to need uh, you know, more uh, uh, projects to, to be mining for, you know, down the road. And uh, so it's, uh, you know, we're, we're cautiously optimistic, but you know, a, a, a next leg up with capital moving in the market would be a good thing for 2018. Good stuff. You mentioned actually, uh, although we're talking about the industry, you did mention the West uh, Red Lake Gold has, a, uh, has their own drills. Uh, do you think that's something we're going to see important this year? Because I understand there's a lot of backlogs both with drillers and with the uh, labs in particular. Yeah, we, we don't own the drill, but the, the, our relationship with our drilling contractor is one of two partnership, you know, with a service supplier. So okay. the drill is always on the property. Uh, we're going to be drilling, uh, beginning the drilling program next week. Uh, so we'll be doing our part with uh, data flow. And at the end of the day, you know, if you put ounces, uh, you know, uh, in the ground uh, within your... Uh, you know, mineralized zones and deposits that are on your property. You know, at some point when, when, when capital flows into the uh, gold sector, right now we're getting less than $20 an ounce in our market cap in the ground right now, less than $20 an ounce. And when capital moves into the sector, and this has been the case historically, you'll get $100 or more dollars per ounce in the ground. So, you know, as ounces in the ground get revalued in good jurisdictions like Ontario, and we do the other things to build value in the company, like, uh, like scoping studies and baseline environmental uh, studies, then the, the, uh, the Canadian miners will be needing a good Ontario uh, gold assets like that, improving gold districts with high grade, uh, you know, uh, because once again, they're, they, they like the environment they're in right now. They're producing, you know, gold and they're making money doing it. John, thank you very much. It was a pleasure talking to you and we'll see you again soon. Great, thank you, Jeff.